Welcome to Taiwan News. I'm Viet Cường. Today's eighth session of Provincial People's Council 12 approval of many new policies. Taiwan City deploys general planning adjustment. Inaugurating of sewage treatment plan under project drainage and sewage treatment for Taiwan City. On December 9th, the Provincial People's Council opened the 8th session of the Provincial People's Council Conference Room. Present at the conference were Mr. Pham Sun Dung, member of the Central Party Committee, Deputy Head of the Central Department of Economics, Mr. Nguyen Ding Phaik, Provincial Party Secretary, Mr. Nguyen Van Kim, Standing Deputy Secretary of the Provincial Party Committee, Mr. Zhang Ngoc Long, Chairman of the Provincial People's Committee. Speaking at the 8th session of the Province of People's Council 7, Mr. Vu Hong Bak, member of the Standing Department of the Province of Party Committee and Chairman of the Province of People's Council, reiterated that over the past three years, the world economy, the regional economy and the domestic economy continue to develop unpredictably, with many risks as well as slow recovery. By the determination of the whole political system and the effort of the party committee, the government and the people of Taiwan province, the province economy has overcome challenges gradually and steadily, fostered the province's economy at higher speed than the country's average. Investment environment continued to improve rapidly and the foreign investment gained success in total registered capital of 3,352 billion USD in 2013. The eighth session of the Province of People's Council 7 played an important role in evaluating the country's economic and social development and national security in 2013 and in defining the objectives, responsibility and solution to implement the economic and social development plan in 2014. In this session, the Province of People's Council listened and gave opinions for the 14 reviews, statements and proposals of the Province of People's Council, seven reports of the Province of Standing People's Council, three reports of the Judicial Department and other important contents. The session also received questions and answers to issues that many voters were interested in. After three days of working seriously and responsibly, on December the 12th, the eighth session of the Provincial Party Council 7 came to a close with the outlined program successfully completed. On December 14th, Taiwan City People's Committee organized a conference on the task of the General Planning Adjustment 2035. Representatives of the relevant departments of Taiwan province attended and commented on this highly orientated task. The general planning adjustment of Taiwan 2035 was established on the basis of the inherited city planning 2020. The emphasis are on building the city a new image of dynamic and prosperous city with a sustainable urban structure and efficiently connected with the capital region. Furthermore, Taiwan City aims to be green, civilized, modern, as well as identifiable. The study scale of the Taiwan City Planning Adjustment 2035 will expand on 5,200 hectares in four communes of Fulung Town, Dong District, and Fubing District. The highlight of the city is Gou River, which is the space axis of the urban landscape. During the conference, leaders of the different departments of Taiwan province have contributed a great deal of consultation on the premise that the general planning needs a more careful consideration in terms of the limitation, weaknesses, characteristics and functions of the city. Also, more attention was given to the development planning of the two river size, park systems and administrative boundaries. The Taiwan City People's Committee also took this chance to consult the functional departments of the province on its plans to expand August 20th Square and adjust the planning area of downtown Taiwan. According to the proposed measure, August 20th will be extended by 1.1 hectares to Co River to provide for cultural and political events. On December 13, the groundbreaking ceremony for the construction of sewage treatment plant, a key item in the framework of the project, drainage and wastewater treatment for Taiwan City, was held. 
Mr. Stephen Dubost, Deputy Counselor in Economics of the Economics Agency, the Embassy of France to Vietnam, Mr. Nguyen Van Kim, Standing Deputy Secretary of Thai Nguyen Province Party Committee, Mr. Nhu Van Tham, Member of Thai Nguyen Province's Standing Party Committee, Deputy Chairman of Thai Nguyen Province People's Committee, and representatives of the relevant departments and units attended the ceremony. Previously, the authorized departments used to utilize situational solutions for the inundation problems following each heavy rain. And so the project Drainage and Waste Water Treatment for Thai Nguyen City has long been expected by Thai Nguyen residents. With a power capacity of 800 cubic meters per day and technology of modern biological treatment, the key point of the entire project has been finally implemented. Drainage and waste water treatment for Thai Nguyen City is one of the three environmental sanitation projects in Vietnam, signed and financed by the French government's fund of recent emerging economies fund, RPE, with a total budget of more than 36 billion euros, of which 16 million is of ODE from the Republic of France. The project is coming to its final stage right on the 40th anniversary of the diplomatic relation establishment between Vietnam and France, 1973-2013, which has proved bilateral efforts. So the presence here today has proven that difficulties and obstacles can be overcome if all parties work hard for the project. Great progress of the project, especially the construction, installation and clearance schedule. The pumping station construction has strengthened the commitment of Tangin province to the installation progress of pumping equipment. As almost all the equipment has been handed over, we are now confident that goods will be implemented rapidly in the coming months. The wastewater treatment plan under the project, Drainage and Wastewater Treatment for Tangwin City, which is designed to treat sewage from the collecting system, consisting of 16.5 km pipeline and 9 transitional pumping stations, is expected to solve the local inundation extended by complex terrain with many bow upturned shaped hills regarding the long awaited design of Tangwin City's residents in particular and the entire population population of Thai Nguyen province, the heart of a developed and dynamic Viet Bắc region in China. Moreover, the completed work will be minimize the amount of sewage which is discarded to Co River and negatively affects the environment of lower river provinces. And let's take a look at some other news. On December the 13th, under the decision of the General Department of Vietnam Road Department, Thái Nguyên Department of Traffic and Transportation opened the bidding for the repair of damaged base pavement sections up kilometer 139 plus 300 to kilometer 143 plus 540. Kilometer 144 plus 900 to kilometer 147 plus 600. Kilometer 160 plus 700 to kilometer 161 plus 400. Kilometer 164 plus 200 to kilometer 165 and construct additional drain segment at kilometer 167 plus 450 to kilometer 167 plus 800 to prevent flooding of Highway 37 at Thái Nguyên Province. The set of five road sections will be repaired in estimated time of three months with a total budget of 12.6 billion Vietnam dong. Sixteen bidders purchased bidding documents while three bidders, the names of the successful bidders, will be publicized after 15 days. On December 11th, the People's Committee of Chung Hoi Commune, Ding Hoa District, held an awarding ceremony in recognition of traditional tea village of Quỳnh Hội Hamlet. Currently, Quỳnh Hội has over 100 households growing and processing tea with an area of about 14 hectares. 
Recently, the tea growers in this hamlet have replaced 35 to 40 percent of the old Midland tea varieties with high-yielding hybrid tea varieties such as LDP1, Batian, and PH1. The new tea varieties are applied intensively with high yield and huge economic values. The tea products are assured of high quality grade because the farmers opted to apply scientific advances and new techniques into production and processing. Hence, all tea products of Quing Hoi are quickly sold and consumed. And that's all we have for today. Thanks for joining us. Goodbye.